Hey everyone, this is Chris with Light Coalition. I just wanted to update you on the little conical coils that I started to wind again. Uh, I set up a new rig as you can see. The other rig just wouldn't work because the gauge of wire and the magnet wire I'm using, which is kind of bendy, didn't want to stay. And I had to do this just to keep a little tension on it and have something that would spin. And I kind of just rigged this up. But I'm basically winding these on some funnels that I found at Harbor Freight basically this size here and I'm able to wind them in a conical direction here and get the the cones that I want I don't I didn't really worry about the angles and the base versus this ratio for now I just want to test some things on it so I just I'll wind them pretty quickly and then I'll go back over it when I'm done and finish the you know down to a point a little better but I'm not sure what gauge this is I forgot but it's it is magnet wire and what I found to be helpful is duct tape and some super glue, which, you know, I haven't seen a whole lot of videos on YouTube about winding conical coils, and they were kind of a pain in the butt, but I finally found something that, that works. I'm basically just taking this funnel and winding it up um, to give me some slack there at the end to finish the down to a point, and then I kind of lock it in here. As I bring it through, then I duct tape it down, and I put this big bulge here because if you don't, even with the duct tape, it'll try to cinch up and actually ruin all the windings that you've done and just come into, you know, kind of a, a ball here instead of actually winding correctly like you see. You can see here where it did it just a little bit, which is why I'm learning to put more of a bulge here so it'll continue to, to go down. But I basically just took um, some duct tape just double sided it all the way around in kind of columns and then put duct tape this way and that way I can kind of just sit it here and I can wind pretty quickly I can kind of just grab it from the bottom here and just spin it I hold a little a slack on it like that and as you can see it just kind of builds up and it's sticking to the duct tape because I'm pressing down on it pretty hard so it, it does kind of wear out your fingers a little bit but uh, I've done two tonight, so maybe I'll feel it tomorrow. But anyways, as you can see, it's starting to go. And once I get probably maybe 25 winds, then that's when I'll come in with the, the super glue and kind of drip down each side just to keep what I've already done and then, you know, finish it off in sections. So that's really about it. As you can see, you can, the super glue on here, it's actually pretty sturdy. And, uh... That's kind of where I'm at right now, and then once these are built, I'll do some more testing like I have with the bigger Vortex coils, but it gives gives me a little more play as far as angles and things like that. So that's it. Quick and easy. Much love. See you.